Hey everybody, this is Gregory from DAP University. So today I wanted to talk about Google using Ethereum and why this is such a big deal. So I just heard recently, and I'll show you the article here in a second, actually put out by Google, that they are offering a product and a service around Ethereum. And I'm gonna walk you through that today and talk about why that's such a big deal that a major player like Google is taking the Ethereum technology very seriously, so much so that it's actually building a product and a service around it. So before we jump into, you know, going over that and seeing what Google's doing, uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel and click the like button down below because that really helps the videos out and it helps more people see these videos um, so that they can learn, you know, from all this free content that I'm putting out uh, about how to build decentralized applications on Ethereum. So I learned about this this week um, when I saw a tweet by Parity Technologies. Uh, if you're not familiar with Parity, it's uh, you might well, you might have seen like the Parity Ethereum client, like Geth. It's like a, kind of its counterpart. Um, so Parity actually collaborated with Google on this effort. So what's happened is um, Google has created a data set for Ethereum with Google BigQuery. Now, again, let me just reiterate how important this is. Um, you know, Google has taken Ethereum serious enough to build an entire product and service offering around it. It did it with Bitcoin first, and now it's done it with Ethereum, which is a huge validation that Google's taking Ethereum seriously so much that it's going to devote all these resources um, and all this time and energy to building a product and a service around it so that other people can use it and query it openly with Google technologies. And it also shows you that the data that's on Ethereum is valuable enough to Google for it to warehouse it and probably use it for its own purposes. <laughs> So Google BigQuery is a product that allows you to, you know, iterate over large sets of data and draw insights out of it, you know, for whatever purpose you want to. Uh, and that's what they've done here. They've taken all the data from the Ethereum blockchain and warehoused it so that you can use it to draw your own insights and analysis. Um, and it, it, it's, it's got the entire history of the main Ethereum blockchain and it it updates it, I think, daily or nightly. The article says in here, uh, you can kind of confirm that yourself. Why would you use Google BigQuery, right? When there's other options out there, like there's, you know, BigQuery, there's Etherscan, and there's just, you know, talking to um, the Ethereum blockchain directly. So it'll work backwards, right? So if you were going to just talk to Ethereum directly, you would mostly just have access to like, uh, random access functions this is like kind of what this article calls it. So you would be able to just, you know, get information about a single transaction directly, or you could just say, what's my token balance or, you know, what's some data in this smart contract or what are the events in this smart contract? You'd be accessing each piece of data kind of one by one by one. You can do the same thing with Etherscan you know, um, the Block Explorer. You can go to Etherscan and read smart contract information one by one by one. Or you could also use Etherscan to maybe draw some insights. I think it gives you access to those kinds of things as well. You can, you know, see aggregations on Etherscan of transaction history. So what Etherscan has done is it's warehoused all of the Ethereum blockchain data and, you know, aggregated it and provi provided you with some uh, ready insights that you can you can use and see rather than just trying to read information yourself. Now what Google BigQuery has done is it's, you know, giving you all that data and kind of giving you the keys to the kingdom to explore it and use it. So if you know the value here is otherwise you'd have to do that yourself. You'd have to pull in all the data from Ethereum, put it in your own database, and try to, you know, run queries on it and you have to maintain that database and keep it in sync and probably even run your own node and it's a real hassle anybody who's developed like a production ready dap that's had to work with blockchain data has really felt that pain and so it's a big deal that google has offered this service so then that's the value 
that's what it is. It allows you to you know, work with all this blockchain data without having to download it yourself, run it, or even talk to the blockchain. I mean, it removes a barrier of entry, right? So let's take a look at the kind of things that you can do with Google BigQuery. So first, um, it allows you to aggregate data, kind of like I said before. So if you look at this chart here, um, this is actually an aggregation of all the Ether transferred and its average transaction cost by, by day. So if you look at this image, you, know, you can see the dates, you can see the amount of Ether transferred and an average transaction cost. So this is something that would be very hard for you to figure out yourself if you were just talking to Ethereum directly. Like I said, Etherscan has done it. You can you know, go to Etherscan, look at the data, or you can you know, draw some more advanced insights with Google directly. It's gonna show you how you can actually write queries on um, BigQuery, and it shows you some examples of how you can use it. So the first example that they show is, sorry, this sticky header is kind of annoying. The first example they show is uh, the CryptoKitties game. So if you're not familiar with CryptoKitties, it's one of those famous kind of early blockchain games based on the ERC-721 standard. So it's uh, basically a token. It's called a non-fungible token um, that allows you to you know, create uh, cats that are collectibles. So what if you wanted to say, you know, what are the 10 most popular um, ERC-721 or, or crypto collectible games? Like, what are the 10 most popular ones? That'd be very hard for you to figure out just by talking to Ethereum directly. So by using BigQuery, you can find that information out. And they actually show you a table here that shows you uh, crypto kitties at the top. Um, this is based on transaction count, how many transactions are made through the smart contract. Uh, it does this with a smart contract event logs. So if you've watched any of my other tutorials where I show you how to write events inside of smart contracts, that's how it does it. It actually pulls the events out and, and logs them that way. So here uh, is the list of contracts uh, by transaction count. And Google actually has this, in order to show you how to use BigQuery, it has a pre-saved query here. So if you click on this link, It'll actually take you to Google BigQuery, where you can see the SQL query uh, that you can run in order to generate these insights. So if you've used SQL before, or SQL, depending on how you, how you say it, um, you can see uh, some basic uh, syntax here. You know, basically, we're selecting uh, from the contacts table the address, um, and we you know, are basically selecting a count um, as a transaction count. And you can see the table and it's, it's joining and as a where clause group by. So that's the query. And you can actually run the query. It's pretty fast for me. And yeah, this actually generates the table um, that you saw in the article. So this is an updated query. You know, like I said, this, this data is updated, I think, daily or nightly. Um, so you can see probably in the past 24 hours, this is what the transaction count was. So that's pretty cool. And that's an introduction to Google BigQuery. You could go in here and write some SQL yourself and run your own queries on the Ethereum blockchain with this tool. And that's the value they're providing. So that's how you see the most popular crypto collectible games. You can also see um, some visuals that they've created here um, that show you, let's see, the CryptoKitty pedigree um, and accounts that own at least CryptoKitties. Uh, see, the color indicates the owner while the size indicates the page rank. Oh, okay, reproductive fitness for each crypto case. That's pretty cool. So you can see some of these visualizations that it creates. So another question is like, what if you wanted to say, what are the most top traded tokens on Ethereum and who is trading them? Um, and you can see that with BigQuery. That's what it does. So you can see like they, they show you uh, Omis Go token or Omis A Go OMG. You can see, uh, you know, how many times it's traded, you know, who is sending the token and who's receiving it. And you can see that down here, they've actually created a, a network graph. So not a network like a blockchain network, but a network of people who are trading the tokens. Like if I send a token to you and you send one back to me and you send it to somebody else and they send it back to me or et cetera, et cetera, you can take all that data and actually create a graph. You can create a web. And that's what they've done here. You can see the visualization 
about where these, you know, where these tokens are traded. You can see that the nodes, dots, or the accounts, and the lines are, um, you know, where the tokens are going. And the last thing that Google tells us um, is that you can use this tool to uh, find similarities between smart contracts. So the smart contract has a function that, you know, actually uh, blends the genes of two collectibles together. Um, you can kind of see different smart contracts that have that same functionality and you can identify them that they were the same you know, CryptoKitties contracts over uh, different iterations. And it also says that you can find other um, smart contracts that implement similar behavior. Like here, I believe it talks about uh, crypto puppies, they're able to find that because of the similar functionality, the same signature, the same function name, things like that. So that's pretty cool. All right, guys, so that's an overview of how Google is using Ethereum. And like I said, you know, check out Big Data, um, play around with this tool. It's pretty neat. Uh, let me know if you find a cool way to integrate this into your own dApp or I can find a different use case than what Google offered here, uh, be sure to leave a comment in, down in the comment section below or shoot me an email to gregory at dappuniversity.com. Um, so yeah, guys, like I said, this is big, this is major. Google is indexing Ethereum data. That's really important. That's um, yeah, a big deal because Google's spending money to get all this data and open you know, opening a tool for us to use. Uh, yeah, it's a big vote of confidence in Ethereum technology. Um, yeah, guys, let me know what you thought down in the comment section below. And be sure to subscribe to the channel. And until next time, thanks for watching DAP University.